Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, guys, I am showing you guys this amazing chicken Philly cheesesteak recipe. So, so, so amazingly good. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like the video for me and let's begin. All right, guys, we're starting with two clean chicken breasts. I am going to slice them very thinly, as you guys can see. So that's one of the key you have to thinly slice your chicken. That's, that's the key right there. Also, I will have the ingredients down below for you guys, as well as the measurement. And also, I'll show you guys all of the ingredients that I use for today's recipe. All right, once I'm done having all of my chicken nice and thinly sliced, we are going to season this from head to toe. Okay, no holding back. Make sure you generously season your chicken. So to season, I am using onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of chili powder, and also we're going to add a little bit of you know, a lemon pepper. Yes, we got that zesty flavor going on in there as well. And also I'm adding a little bit of chicken seasoning from Mrs. Dash. And this right here is the key, y'all. This is a steakhouse seasoning blend or seasoning marinade. You are going to pour that on there about three to four tablespoon. Once you're done having that, you don't need anything else. You can sprinkle a little bit salt in there if you want. Honestly, I didn't have to. I don't eat salt like that, okay? 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 So once you're done, you can either put this in the fridge for about 30 minutes, but if you don't want to, just cook it right away. So here are the ingredients. I have the chicken red bell peppers, green bell peppers, onion, oil, a little bit of mushroom. I know a lot of you guys probably don't like mushroom, but you should give it a try. If you're allergic, please stay away from those. But I have my hoagie rolls here that we're going to be using for this amazing sandwich. Now here I have my cast iron skillet. I am going to pour in the oil. Once that is nice and hot, we're going to add in the chicken, okay? Just put that in, allow it to cook for about I'll say about three to four minutes per side. Then you can, you know, turn it over and cook the other side. We want a nice golden brown color on the chicken, but at the same time, don't overcook the chicken. Now, once one side is nice and golden brown, like I said, just flip it over, allow the other side to cook. You want the chicken to be nice and juicy. And this is one thing I learned over the years, you know, cooking chicken breast. It doesn't get dry if you don't overcook the chicken. If you overcook your chicken breast, it will be dry. But if you cook it to its proper temperature, it should be nice and juicy, okay? Keep that in mind. Oh, look at that. Ooh, so saucy, so juicy. That's what I like. Now it's the perfect time to remove your chicken. As you guys can see, the chicken is nicely cooked. And my goodness, the flavor, the flavor in here is to die for okay so now you're going to remove your chicken set it aside i am about to cook the veggies now i'm going to be pouring in the onions first then we are going to follow by the green bell peppers red bell peppers toss them here and there they take a little bit longer to cook so just 
make sure you have your heat on medium medium high heat not too hot though because you don't want to burn them you want to caramelize them until they're nice and tender and soft okay especially the onion Now I'm going to be adding in my mushroom because mushroom doesn't really take a long time to cook. So we're going to toss all of those veggies together until they look something like this, very nice and soft. Now to the glaze the cast iron skillet, I am going to pour in about two tablespoons of cooking wine. Now you can use two tablespoons of water if you want to, but um, I use cooking wine. It doesn't make or break the dish. Just pour that in and just keep stirring all that saucy sauce. The veggies is going to soak all of that saucy sauce in and basically you're going to have the best, the best chicken cheese steaks ever. Okay, once you have your veggies nice and soft, you know what to do. You know what to do, it's time to combine, okay? It's time to add that chicken right back in. You want all of that flavor from the chicken to just dance and swim with the veggies. Now look how beautiful our chicken looks so far. I am in love with this. So now guys, here is what you're going to do. You're going to take your provolone cheese. You are going to place them right on top of your chicken. Okay, so they can be nice and melted. So place them right on top. You can cover it if you want just to allow the cheese to be melted but while that is melting if you have a separate stove on those side you are going to toast your bread while you melting your cheese and if you like mayo you can go ahead and add some mayo to this personally i don't need it i do like mayo but i don't need it for this recipe it's it's already saucy, it's already juicy. Mayo will make it even juicier, but we don't need it. No ma'am, no sir. This right here by itself, it's, it's all we need. Look at that cheese pull. Y'all, I love, love, love this recipe. Oh, y'all just don't know how love Y'all just don't know how much I love me some good old Philly cheese steak. I'll take it any day, any time over pizza, okay? And I gave these to my dad. Now look at this, y'all. I cannot, look, tell me, comment right now in the comment section if you are going to try this out. Look how beautiful this sandwich is. All right, guys, I really hope you guys try this out. I did make three sandwiches with this one. I had to share it with my dad. He loves, loves, loves it. I hope you guys try this out for your family. They will love it. But by the time I cut this through, the cheese was already, you know, not 
as soft but you can pop it in the air fryer bam 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 you are good to go i hope you guys like this video if you did please 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 don't forget to give it a thumbs up let's get this video to a thousand likes can we do it i think we can thank you for watching be sure to subscribe i'll see you guys on the next recipe bye guys